What's going on, everybody? We back, baby. Mukbang time. This is actually uh, be the first one of these that we do on a Tuesdays now. We've swapped. We're swapping the mukbangs and the lives. Well, we can go live on Mondays because that's Mel's only day off, and we can go live a little earlier and go live for a little longer. And they they end up doing better actually. Um, I think this, we were talking about this off camera. I think this is the fourth mukbang in a row that we've done where it's been raining. And I was speaking about it. It wasn't raining on our way here. And then as soon as we got parked to figure out what we were going to get, sure enough. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> we're at Chick-fil-A, man. We've been, um, we've been knowing we were going to do this one. We just didn't know when. And it's a good time to do it. Um, everybody loves Chick-fil-A. Me and Mel like Chick-fil-A. I'm a big fan of their breakfast. Not, I, I like their lunch, too. I'm not going to say I don't like it. I do. I just am not as huge of a fan of Chick-fil-A as everybody else is. I get it, though. I get why. The food's good. All that stuff. There's just not a lot of options on their menu. Um, but we're going to do the damn thing. And... Um, Appreciate everybody. We just hit 81,000 subscribers. So appreciate y'all. I don't know which way to go to. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we're fixing to deal with these really mean people here at Chick-fil-A. You know, I don't know how mean they are. So. Uh, I don't the same thing. They have one girl that's slow. Like dumb. Oh, okay. Well. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm going to get started for y'all today. What'd you want? Um, I want the Chick-fil-A deluxe sandwich. Combo? Yeah. Would you like the meal, ma'am, or just yeah, the sandwich? Yeah, she the wants meal. the meal. Yeah, with a large Coke. Gotcha. Would you like those fries large, too? Yes, please. All right. Are you okay with American cheese? Yes, that's fine. Anything else for you all today? Yes. Um, I need the Chick-fil-A grilled chicken club with just chicken, bacon, and cheese. Not the lettuce and tomato? No. And then I need that large with a water to drink. All right. And are you okay with Colby Jack cheese? Yeah, that's fine. All right. And you said you wanted a medium fry to water? A uh, large fry to water. Large yeah. Large fry to water. And then um, we'll do some mac and cheese. What size would you like it? Large. Large? Yeah. Large. Are you okay with that large water? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. Anything else for you today? Yeah, we'll get... What do, you, what do you want? I need honey mustard. Cheese, honey mustard. And can we get some uh, of the nuggets? Honey mustard and nuggets. All right. We have five, eight, 12, and up to 30. We'll do 12. 12. It's fine. Would you like the meal or just the nuggets? Just the nuggets. All right. Any condiments, sir? What sauce do you want? Or yours? Polynesian. Here, okay. honey mustard. I got honey mustard. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Anything else for y'all today? That's it. What's a good name for this order? Chad, C H A D. All right. So we have a. Number one deluxe meal with a large fry and a large Coke. Then a grilled club sandwich meal with no tomato or lettuce on that sandwich. A large fry and a large water. Mm -hmm. Large mac and cheese with a 12 count nugget with Polynesian sauce. Does everything sound right to you? Uh, sure does. All right, here's what our name is. It'll be 39.59. All right, thank you. you can do it here. Oh, boom. Okay. Thank you. Y'all can even do cash out here. Y'all got it. Y'all got it made in the yes, shade yeah. out here, huh? I got it set up. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, thanks. It's like I thought. Mean as fuck. Oh. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard how mean that little girl was to us. And I simply cannot stand for that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what kind of training they go through. It's never not like that at any location you go to. Nobody's ever annoyed. Nobody's ever dismissive. Nobody's ever, I don't give a fuck. Nobody's ever, have you noticed that? Yeah. It's like, I mean, I guess it's because they literally take it very seriously, which is the way it should be with everywhere. But every other restaurant you go to, it's like, there's, at any time, you could get somebody that's 18 years old that doesn't give a fiddler's fuck about your existence. I know when we, I went to a Chick-fil-A with sis and... I messed up her sandwich. We went up there and we told her that her sandwich was messed up. I brought another one out. 
it was messed up. Or if they were told them that was messed up, they brought another one out. We left there with four extra sandwiches. They were like, just keep them. We were like, yeah. please just get it right. And they had no problem. Just keep on remaking it well, I mean, over and over again. At least they, I guess it's a thing too where they can't. Yes, ma'am. It's a thing where they can't keep them. You know what I mean? Once they make them. Well, yeah, I mean, I know that. But, but never tried the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. I've heard it's fuego. And I've never had it. And we're going to have it. And y'all are going to watch us eat it. Or you won't. You'll turn it off. Oh. Shout out to Fart Bufflers. So unnecessary. What is... I've spoke, I haven't spoken about fart mufflers yet. No. I'm gonna get back to doing some grind my gears here and there. We've just been going so hard on the interview stuff that um, I'm gonna I've scaled back on those, but I'm gonna start putting them out again here and there. Between the interviews, we've just got so many interviews that's coming out. I didn't want to. Oh, but that's right. Yeah. But we appreciate everybody's support, man. Troy and Emmett charted number six on hip hop albums on iTunes. Thank y'all so much for that. And uh... Where's that 81,000? You said 81,000 subscribers on the YouTubes. Thank y'all for that. Uh, Chiefs won the Super Bowl. We already uh -huh. knew that was happening. Taylor Swift's team won the Super Bowl. What I should have said. I said the name wrong. My bad. Gotta give her credit. They're not called the Kansas City Chiefs. They're called the Kansas Swifty Chiefs now, apparently. Mm -hmm. If they get this wrong, it is over with. You know what I mean? Salute to them for, still, for doubling down too and saying we're not opening on Sundays. We don't care what kind of money we're leaving on the table. Not happening. We're gonna die on that hill, and that hill is is a hill of glory. We're not die. We're gonna die on it. Yeah. Luckily, we came when it wasn't busy. Yeah. Um, we don't really come down this way much. Is there ketchup in here? Thank you so much. I forgot about that. Thank you so much. You too. Well, all right. Let's see what uh, let's see what she's talking about. And guess what? People watching, you're gonna say, "Oh, Chad, got, didn't get to, uh, lettuce and tomato." Nope, sure didn't. All right. I guess it's, we just need to start calling them rainy mukbangs. Yeah. Because we're on a good little streak. We're four. We're four in a row. I'm pretty sure. Because it the, it started with the hellacious uh, mukbang that was Dairy Queen. Okay, that's where it started. That's where everything started. That was in the middle of. Uh... I don't want to sit next to that guy. Um, and that's where that, that seems like that was forever ago. Was it not? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All righty. Here we is. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Lord help us. You know what I mean? I will say. Uh-oh. Chick-fil-A's waffle fries are the titties. I'm gonna take the titties. Ooh, titties. Oh, oh, they got the cool little ketchup. Okay. It doesn't take much, does it? Oh, oh man. Here, let's see if we can not lose these this time. Okay. Shout out to everybody check out the Freddy's one. Just so y'all don't forget it, Chad, C H A D. Oh, 
a Polynesian saw, son. That should crack in a canister. Oh, man. The mac and cheese. Shit, Chad. What do you say? I said you got a lot of shit. Yeah, and I got a feeling it's gonna all come crashing down. You got too much going on. Well. Ready? Hold on. Ah! All right, sir. So, obviously, we've had the fries. We've had the nuggets. Oh my, this mac and cheese looks like it could be a problem, son. No. Let's see if we can get some. Yep. Give it a whirl. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you have to set up straight. You don't want to put that there. Let's see what this... I've never had a grilled chicken sandwich from here. Um, I don't even see no cheese on here. I didn't even put cheese on this one butter. What? God damn it. I have some honey barbecue though. <sighs> Can't brag on nobody. <laughs> Just bragging about Chick Fil A and how they're so nice, and you know, I'm not saying they wasn't nice, but they fucked it up. She even made sure you like Colby Jack. Sure, I'll take that. Just kidding, psych, bitch. I will say that grilled chicken is really good, though. Fries hitting pretty good, ain't they? Yeah. Um, so the pre order bundles were a success. Sold out. Um, sending the order off tomorrow. So, we should be able to, um, You know, get those out. Let, hopefully, we'll get them back first week of March, and we'll ship them out to y'all. How's that honey mustard? Good. Is, is Oak Charlie's the best? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the Oak Charlie's honey mustard is just, just like a... It's just a known thing. Everybody knows that that's the best. And cheese or no cheese, this chicken sandwich is fire. I like this bread that it's on too.
What's y'all's go-to meal at Chick-fil-A? There is something from Chick-fil-A breakfast that I want to try, that chicken bowl. Uh, yeah, the, the food review guy that we like from Atlanta, he did it. It's like chicken, egg, cheese, and I think hash browns. Fire. That mac and cheese is dangerous. Literally. Yeah, we picked a good time to come here. It's like two o'clock, dude. It ain't like it's too late. Yeah. That barbecue sauce is good too. It's different. With the honey barbecue one? Yeah. Yeah. And the thing about Chick fil A, it's not super greasy. So you don't feel, you don't feel that same way you feel after you eat most other fast food places. I think they. Peanut oil or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's what like somebody told me that they cook everything in peanut oil. Because if you have a peanut allergy, this is not the place to cook. Oh. Yeah, this chicken sandwich is on point, so. <clears throat> and I know you can get the grilled chicken nuggets, too. Mm -hmm. I've just never had them. But whatever kind of bread this is, is fire. It's way better than the regular buns. It's kind of almost sweet. It's probably one of those fancy names. Alley -oop. I was just talking about, I ain't that busy. Now 11 cars just pulled in at the same time. So, if y'all are watching this, and y'all have purchased Troy and Emmett, or streamed Troy and Emmett, what are y'all favorite songs? It's dope because we've been getting I got an eclectic, like, mix of answers, which is always good. Yeah. So that's always cool. That way we know it's a well-rounded project. Um, oh, snap. Got your sandwich, girl. The new video with uh, NSG Rogue is out now. It's called Did It For Myself. Um, turned out really dope. Shout out to Rogue. Shout out to Mark Gray for facilitating that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, she about to try her sandwich, baby. When y'all come to Chick Fil A, mm -hmm. what y'all's go-to sauce? Mine's Polynesian. Because to be real, there are not a lot of sauces that hit like Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> Is that the first time you've had that sandwich? Is yeah. that the one you got your go-to? Mm-hmm. There we go. If you can't tell, both me and Mel, <coughs> that sinus is out the wazoo. Hers are just, hers are worse than they normally are. It's just this time of year, I think. No, it's because I had COVID and 60 days later I had flu. And that just, it's just taking a hit. There's not an antibiotic or a steroid on the face of the planet to fix it. Permanent damage. Oh, I forgot they have shakes here, don't they? Yep. Could have splurged and got me a shake. I forgot they even had them here, though. I don't think I've ever had the strips from here. This mac and cheese is fucking serious, son. Well, well. Casually. No. It happens. Um. Just that gallon of water they gave me. <laughs> But yeah, I love their breakfast. I love the chicken minis. Um, and literally all the chicken minis are, are these little nuggets in between the little sweet bread. But man, do they hit, son. They hit, my boy boy. You're dripping sauce. Oh. Whoops. Off that top, just pull that top off. Dripping sauce like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Your boy be dripping sauce. Hey. Shout out to Mel. Seeing it because I would not have known. After this, I'm going into Wally World. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Or Kroger. One of them. I guess Wally World. We're right here next to it. Kroger got better deal on comp zone. So. We'll go to Kroger. Plus, it's always best to go to the grocery after you eat. 
Yeah. Because it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Me, this is the, this is the first time we haven't eaten anything all day. This is the first time we've eaten. Probably the only thing we eat. Um, we both just been kind of lazy this morning, like falling in and out of sleep. Both of our sleep patterns are so messed up from being sick. I was up earlier and I just went and lay back down. Yeah. Forgot who the hell I was for a few hours. Yeah. And I had no idea it was 12.30. When Catherine runs the microwave, I piss my pants and forget who I am for a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, Cousin Eddie. The goat. Apparently, is a hack. You can order the potatoes, mac and cheese, chicken bites, and like buffalo sauce and ranch or something. And like you put it, you ask them for a clear container, and you put it all in there and you shake it up. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume with Chick Fil A being somewhat—I don't want to say basic—but it's kind of the menu is not. I mean, there's, you know what I mean. It doesn't have a lot of options, but I would assume there. I wonder if there's a couple like things like that, like hacks or hidden items or whatever. Like the one you just said, that one actually sounds good. Diana is in a hack where you get the kale crunch salad, grilled chicken, and creamy buffalo sauce, something else. You put it all together and check it up. She said it was really good. Yeah. Well, the kale salad by itself is amazing. I eat the kale. I eat kale salad from Chick Fil A four times a week. I, you know what I mean? But now I know I can spice it up a little bit, you know. I wouldn't know if you said Chad, I need you. <coughs> I need you to go get me some kale. I would be lost as last year's Easter egg. You were able to do a uh, get onion and celery and chip. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody knows what onion and celery looks like. What the fuck's kale look like? Does it look like lettuce? Or it does? Say, I, I mean, can you tell a difference by looking at it? No, but they usually have a sign that's kale. Oh. Well, oh, yeah, that's cheap. <coughs> you remember going to um, like Ponderosa or um, Shoney's mm -hmm. and like the salad bar portion, the cold part of the bar. Yeah. They had the green greenery that was around everything. Kale kind of looks like that. Gotcha. <laughs> Shout out to the Shoney's bar. Mm -hmm. The Shoney's breakfast bar may be one of the greatest things of our time. Would you agree? Just the Shoney's bar in general. Whether it's the breakfast or the salad bar or the regular, the hot bar. Their breakfast bar, though, there used to be one where we live at, like right by over here. They tore it down when they tore all the other Shoney's down. It's going to be a Whataburger. Um, but <clears throat> when I was younger, I would come there and and you can get eggs, bacon. They had chicken, chicken bites, like fried chicken tender bites, 
French toast sticks. I mean, they had, the eggs were really good. Like, did they, biscuits and gravy, like they had everything. And I'm sure the Shoney's still do that, but there's, a, there's only a Shoney's close to us, maybe 45 minutes from here. Which we've been to, it's been a year or two, but. Um, but yeah, shout out to Shoney's for sure. Shout out to the show knees. Rain just keeps pelting. You know what I mean? So we got, obviously y'all know if y'all watch the live, we got new mics. They sound amazing. We didn't want to use them for this because you would just literally hear us. Like it would be like, hey, it's, what is it called? Hey, yeah, that's hard. No, no. Um... The macaroni is really not good when it's cold. Okay. I mean, it's a good flavor. I'm just not for <coughs> when it separates. Yeah, and my thing is too, that macaroni and cheese is really good, but it's not like when I come to Chick fil A. Which, this is the first time we've been to Chick-fil-A. I mean, I don't remember the last time we did. Oh, wow. Um, it's not something I would get every time. I'd, I'd maybe get a small one every now and again. But, um, yeah, let's write it. So, what would you think of your sandwich? What would you get? I have a deluxe chicken sandwich, but I should just got a regular one. I took all the stuff off of it. Oh, you did? It's just so hard to eat stuff like that in the car. Yeah. What would you give the sandwich? It was good. It was Standard. Weird. I just don't understand why I'm... Like, with sandwiches and stuff, like... They... Don't put sauce on the sandwich. Or if they do, where the fuck does it go? Yeah. I always have to put more sauce on it. No, I'm with you there. That that barbecue that I put on there, I thought I was more than enough. I barely even tasted it on there. And I put almost the whole packet on there. That grilled chicken, I know I was supposed to eat it with lettuce tomato. Fuck y'all, I don't, I don't like lettuce tomato. The grill, and it's supposed to have cheese on it. Colby Jack, remember you heard her say it. But even though it was just the chick, grilled chicken, bacon, and barbecue <laughs> sauce, it was really good. That bread was fire. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10, probably. The fries are the best waffle fries. I don't know who all does them. Oh, yeah. It's not, not my go-to. No, it's not my go-to either. I don't anything but, else here. But <clears throat> when you get those brand new, it's hard It's hard to beat those fries when you get them brand new and fresh. So they, I'd give them like a 9. Uh, I love the chicken nuggets. I'd give them probably a 9, too. Was your soda okay? Yeah. Yeah. Had a little kick to it. Yeah. <laughs> when I do ice water, they put so much ice in there, you feel like you're getting a guy. Sonic's really bad about it. Um, you get it's just all ice mainly. You get like six or seven sips of water, and the rest of it's ice. So get it without ice, Chad. That's the solution. I know. I always forget. And it's not cold. A little better? Yep. We did it, guys. Chick-fil-A mug burn. I would be all the day. Yeah, now we get to go buy uh, groceries. That's always fun. Um, I went to the store when she was sick to get some more meds and to get some sodas for her because she was almost out. Well, she does all the apps, coupons, all that stuff. So if it don't ring up at the register with the card, I don't fucking know if it's on sale. I don't know, know nothing. So I got her two 12-packs. Well, the two 12-packs were $9.99 a piece. And I'm like, damn, that's busting heads. I even scanned a third one thinking, oh, maybe it's buy two, get one. No. So I was like, well, they're just not running deals. So I paid for the rest of my stuff, got home. 
and told her, I was like, babe, they only had them. They were $10 a piece, so I got you two of them. So she looked on her app, and it was buy two, get three free. So for $20, you could have got five 12-packs. And my dumb ass didn't know that, so I fucked it up. I fucked up. <laughs> but we're fixing, do they still have that deal? I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to jump off here, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what y'all thought of the video. Let us know y'all's favorite stuff to get at Chick-fil-A. Let us know where y'all want us to do mukbangs at next. We're going to do a Girl Scout cookie mukbang as well. Um, Wrong hunt. Yeah. They were selling them at the IGA yesterday. Um, Maybe they were today day too. I don't know. I love y'all, man. 81,000 subscribers. Let's keep it moving, man. On the road to 100K by May, baby. You want to say anything? <laughs>